<laughs> Guys, traffic, we're literally trying to head over to the garage right now. I haven't even started the vlog. But traffic just completely froze. It's a huge car accident. And people are just all chilling. How you feeling? This guy, look at this. <laughs> Going above and beyond. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today was kind of crazy on the highway. Um, I don't know what was going on. I hope everybody was okay. That's why it's important to drive safe. But on another note, we are officially here with the 435. We have the M3 giveaway car right there. You guys have already killed it. You guys already got my brother to 2,500 subscribers in one day. I, I, I honestly didn't think you guys would do it in one day. I thought it was going to take about a month. But... You guys did it in one day. So, there's two options. I could go ahead and give away the car as is right now. Or you guys could give me a little bit more time with the car. Probably like two weeks. Throw some bucket seats in. Custom steering wheel. Do a couple sick mods. Make the engine bay a little bit nicer. I want to make sure this car is in really good shape for the new owner. I was even thinking about doing a full-out muffle delete. I think that'd be super sick. I cannot believe you guys. I cannot believe you guys hit the goal in 24 hours. You guys are insane. If you guys want to see a whole bunch of more mods to get done to the M3 before I give it away to one of you guys, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys haven't entered the giveaway, you can still enter to the giveaway make sure you subscribe to my brother's channel down below like this video up there and make sure you make sure you comment because that's how i'm going to be selecting the winner anywho guys we are here with the 435 um so we're going to go ahead and just add some side skirt extensions yeah so you guys can see we have the front carbon fiber look which is absolutely insane we have the carbon shark fin carbon spoiler and then also carbon diffuser the, sp the diffuser is kind of coming off a little bit right here i'm actually thinking about removing the bumper making sure it's mounted 100 secure so you might be doing that in the end of this video but i also want to add some side skirt extensions right now so carbon fiber side extensions. i really wonder how it's going to look I know it's gonna be killer. So let's go ahead and move the cars and uh, add some more carbon fiber. So here is the box, guys. This is from Keys Motorsports. Uh, side skirt extensions. These are made out of carbon fiber, which are super sick, and they're pretty much made for this car. It's not like one that fits all. It's literally designed for this car, so the fitment should look really good. Uh, so let's go ahead and just pop her out. So with every other keys order I've ever ordered, you guys get the bolts, which is nice, and then you guys also get the jet tag and the decals. This is super nice. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jack up the car. All right, guys, this is our current situation. I pretty much had to jack it from this side to jack it from the front because it's super hard to get it from the front, especially with the lip. So we're gonna work one side at a time. We're gonna go ahead and put those two jack stands somewhere and then go ahead and just start cleaning up this side of the undercarriage. And then pretty much I can stick on the side skirt extension and then screw it in. At the same time, it has 3M, so it should be 100% secure. looks so good oh my god the fitment is so perfect and it extrudes just a little bit but it matches up with the wheel in the rear that is so sick so all, I mean, the 3m is insane it's so strong like right now i think we messed up a little bit on this side on the fitment like we messed it up putting it on um but oh, you already took it off in the back i'm working on it you're working on it yeah it's actually so strong that we can barely even take it off so we're gonna take it off put it back on and put in all the screws uh but I, honestly i don't even think it needs screws like that's how strong it is but anyway we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick so at this point we have side skirt extensions on i don't want to put down the car just yet because you might as well do the oil change we're treating her very physically well but we gotta pretty much treat her mentally well <laughs> i don't know how to explain that but anywho we need to do the oil change i don't think i've done an oil change in about six thousand miles and for me that's way overdue i normally do it every four thousand miles so i'm gonna go ahead and clean my hands throw on some gloves and do the oil change and at least feel good and confident when i'm driving this thing you guys saw pretty much the oil change is done um at this point we're just gonna go ahead and lower down the car take it out for a test drive check it out how it looks the side skirts when it's aired out and it should look really good and after we're done with all that we might go ahead and try to fix this rear bumper we'll see but for the most part oil change is done we're taking care of the car side skirts are on they look absolutely stunning i really want to see it aired out let's just get into it Other than a two finger gap, I honestly want an extension, like right here, that fills in at least another finger. But that looks really good, oh my god. So if you guys are wondering where I got these side skirts from, these are from Keys Motorsports. The entire thing is carbon top and bottom. Looks really good, the fitment is really good. So yeah guys, we got carbon fiber side skirts, 
front lip, rear diffuser, spoiler. Um, next thing is pretty much gonna be mirror caps. I'm trying to get those things as well, those little fender parts. But yeah, we got the diffuser. I kind of want to just fix that real quick. We got the spoiler. Let me know down below, guys. Do you guys want to see me dip this in carbon or actually just get the, like the plastic cover, the carbon like cover? Let me know. And also for this, you guys want me to dip this in carbon? You guys want me to replace it with carbon? Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys want to see me do a DIY on that. But anyways, let me go ahead and turn the car around. I want to fix the bumper because the bumper, the carbon thing is sticking out. The car is looking mint otherwise. Let's go ahead and just fix that real quick. So yeah, guys, this diffuser is popping out. I don't really know why it is, uh, but anyways, when I put it up there, when I tighten the screws, it popped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the whole bumper, put it all back together, and then uh, actually try to tighten it up from the back to make sure that this will never pop out again. Because I really want this, obviously, this car to be as perfect as possible. So I don't think it's gonna be too hard. I'm gonna try to air up all the way and then go ahead and take off the bumper for y'all. So like you guys saw, we have the bumper removed. So let's go ahead and put the diffuser back on. These things were like at a really bad angle from the bottom of the car. So hopefully you can push these out by hand and get the diffuser back on there. I think when we put the other diffuser, we kind of forced it in there and messed up these tabs. So let's go ahead and put it on properly. Thank you guys for watching. As you guys can see, I did the, all the hard work. I put it in, put it out, you know, put the tabs and everything back to place. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next video on Save a BMW. That's crazy, guys. So for the most part, we pretty much worked all around the car today. We went ahead and fixed the diffuser sticking out, so that's really nice. Um, we went ahead and also added some side skirt extensions and carbon fiber. Check these bad boys. That looks so good. And then we went ahead and also did the oil change in the front. So now maintenance is up to, uh, so now maintenance is ready to go. We got the whole car in carbon fiber for the most part. Let me know if I should do these in carbon guys and four style, or do you guys think that the orange, the copper contrast actually looks really good? So you guys let me know down in the comments. But without further ado guys, that is one hell of a day today. We did so much work, very productive. I'm super excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're actually coming back to be working on the E36 M3. So that's gonna be super dope, either installing seats, or either doing the custom steering wheel, either doing a whole bunch of stuff to the E36. I got a lot of things at home. I'm gonna bring it all tomorrow. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you smash the like button. Remember, and also let me know, guys, do you guys want me to work on the E36 some more? Or do you guys want me just to give it away to the winner since you guys already reached the threshold? Do you guys let me know down below? And without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.